What up, Pandus? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, back inside my Jeep Grand Cherokee. And this truck has a truck crossover. Let's not be uh, classification Nazis about it, but whatever. Um, has been to the dealership for the recall for this sucky transmission shifter. And now the shifter itself, um, let me get rid of this here. The shifter itself sucks. Uh, and it's also dangerous. You can check out my video uh, that I talked about where that. Um, is a problem in the Anton Yelchin controversy, but it absolutely was dangerous. In fact, you could see me where I put the the the, the shifter into reverse purposefully, but you could do it accidentally. And then I got out of the, the Jeep and walked around and there's nothing preventing it from um, kind of rolling away. And that's kind of the issue. So what they did is only a software update. I actually wasn't really sure how they were going to fix it, but it's just a software update. In fact, the shifter works no differently when I kind of tap it and you can kind of get it into different modes um, and you can kind of overshoot you know like there if I overshot reverse you can overshoot your selected gear but the the, the difference now is it auto parks so let me let me just shift it in here into reverse a second and now you can see that the indicator on the dash and on the shifter says reverse and if I <clears throat> hit release the the gas pedal a little bit you can see I'm moving in reverse okay now the only difference is, I've got my foot on the brake, if I open up the driver's side door here, it says, uh, and I let off the brake, it says auto park engaged. Press the brake um, and push the button on the gear shift to select the gear. So now if I push the, the brake pedal back in, I can go back into reverse, as you can see. But what it automatically did is use software to put you back into park. Now. If I move here to neutral, boom, neutral, and now I let off the brake. Obviously, I'm in neutral. The car isn't really moving anywhere. I'm on a fairly flat surface right now. But if I open, I've got my foot off the brake and I'll open up the driver's side door. Auto park engaged. So what it did there again is it automatically shifted the vehicle back into park to hold it in position. Now, um, it's an improvement, I guess. I guess my commentary on it is, I understand what they're doing here to fix this uh, and to make it safer. They've, they've kind of taken the sucky functionality of this shifter and try to add this safe auto park functionality. My issue with it is that there are cars that sometimes you want to open the driver's side door while you're reversing. Sometimes you're looking and trying to, um, you're leaning out and, and reversing up to a trailer hitch or, or something like that, or into a boat ramp or trying to kind of squeeze it into a tight spot or whatever. Um, so having the car in gear and the door open is, is a legitimate, albeit probably not a great practice. One could argue you could roll down the window and maybe do that. Um, you know, my Lamborghini Diablo, I have to uh, open up the driver's side door when I'm reversing it to see where I'm going. All right, I don't have a Diablo. But you kind of get my point. It's there's I don't, I don't think it's a hard and fast rule that when the car's in gear and the door's open that it should not be able to be moved, all right? So, and then obviously if there's any software problems here, the sensor or whatever, the plunger that um, is the sensor used to detect whether the door is open or closed. If that's a problem, you're gonna always be in park. So there's a lot of software nannies here and I get why they did it. Um, the, the reality is I would have liked a little bit better feedback when I shift here um, to kind of select the gear appropriately as opposed to um, just relying on software to kind of always default back to park. But it works. The, so in summary, the shifter still sucks, looks good. I really like the design. Looks good. The shifter sucks, but it is safer, and I wouldn't call it dangerous anymore after the fix. Peter Von Panda, out.